Hello and welcome back to Building Greece, where we take the teeny tiny club of Volos and build them up into a Gresham powerhouse uh, along the way, <laughs> trying to elevate Greece's level in UEFA. Uh, <laughs> so here we are. If you couldn't tell by the date, I did not come back for um, I didn't come back for for the cup because. I felt like it didn't really matter, honestly. I mean, it was 4-0 aggregate. I just didn't see it happening. Uh, interesting little note, though. Um, uh, apparently, I'm an acquaintance of Pep Guardiola. I have no idea how that happened. I think it's because I signed Illich, maybe, and he and I have talked. But it was just a weird relationship to see pop up since I have like three. But um, I did want to review this a little bit. 48% uh, win percentage with a 21 goal differential, which is pretty good, uh, especially for the division that we're in, I feel like. Um, the other cool thing is that... We finished in fourth again. How great is that? So because of how UEFA works, apparently, and how rankings work, um, we are in the conference uh, next year. So sort of a bummer. Um, yeah, sort of a bummer. Pretty, pretty much a bummer. Uh, the way it'll work, I've never, I've never done conference. Normally, I, I don't get as far as continental competitions. Uh, we enter. When do we enter? Final championship group. Second qualifying round. So, uh, second qualifying round. Puts us at here. So we had 85,000 for appearance. Um, I don't know what kind of competition we're going to come up against. I guess that we could look at the previous ones. Uh, but the, the prize money isn't compelling at all. Um, we'd have to get to the group stage to make some decent money, so that could be cool if we do make it there. Uh, and I would say, I don't know if competition review, it's not there yet, uh, 20. Oh, because it probably didn't generate last year's, huh? Shoot, what's my detail level set at? Uh, mixed, Europe. All senior main stages. Later stages. Uh, main stages. Hold on. I, I'm, I'm going to go through and set this up. That way we get some history on this. Uh, but I don't think I need to be concerned about the Olympics. I mean, I'd like to know about the Olympics. UEFA, later stages, main stages, main stages, later stages. This is just going to slow down the game, but it's OK. What is this? I feel like I don't need to worry about OFC. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this stuff a little bit. Oh, nice. I want all competitive matches. Uh, 
I don't know what that means. Whatever, we'll do it. I've never actually adjusted any of this stuff before, so this is pretty interesting. Uh, FIFA World Cup, we want all competitive matches. Okay, that's that's probably good enough for right now. Super League 2. Perfect. Okie dokie. Um, so, season review. Nine losses, which I think is... What is our history here? Landmarks, no records. Uh, fewest points. Fewest league wins was apparently the season. Um, most league draws also this season. Fewest goals this season. Highest attendance, highest gate receipts, average attendance, lowest attendance, biggest win. All of that's from our original, our original bit. Uh, Pastacos had a ton of goals, uh, not as much as Matzis, um, and then. What else do we got here? Bastakos also had uh, league goals, overall goals. Um, it's weird that. That's weird. Doesn't matter. Uh, Van Wick making his appearance in the cup was the youngest player. Um, the oldest player is Gendrasek, who is retiring now. Uh, do, 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 do. Juan got most assists. Melissa got clean sheets. He beat his old record. Uh, player of the match, Plagas. And youngest goal scorer, Marinos. Oldest goal scorer, Gendrasek. And most matches without losing was this season. We did uh, a wonderful job. And unfortunately, most matches without scoring was also this year. So that's okay. Uh, that doesn't look right. First in Super League One. Third in Super League One. How does that? Oh, the highest league position at overall. So, so you know, we're looking, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Um, I did stop for all of the. All the end of season stuff. Let's see where it begins here. It begins. Do 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 do. Collected bonuses. We paid out twenty four grand. Um, record low number of wins. Record low number of goals. Uh, we had. Uh, Plagas, who has just been mwah, a beautiful signing. Um, Bastakos, Brankovic, Andrusos, Illich, Sokani uh, also brought into the starting 11. So this is our starting 11 right now. Um, pretty similar, except for Nico's cases, who we got rid of. But this is basically our lineup from this year, uh, which is wonderful. Uh, end of season award, Plagas swept it. No competition. The guy was just incredible. And then this is our team of the season. Macdom's in there, which is really interesting. Uh, I don't, I don't know why he's in there. I'm not sure I agree with it necessarily. Arminakis is also in there. Um, and then just our season review, man. I mean, we did, we did some stuff. Uh, our attendance isn't, isn't the best, but we were steady throughout the entire season. Um, you know, we did, we did very well. Uh, our club visions and expectations, uh, mid table finish next year. So we're not trying to like establish ourselves as a club anymore. It's just going to be mid table year after that is top half. Uh, so that's great. Hopefully the funding from the board also meets that expectation. Uh, in the Europa conference, they just want us to be competitive. Uh, our dynamics are incredible. Uh, 
uh, the end of season, I told them we were going to come back and do mid-table, and they were all pretty thrilled. Injuries, not as bad as past years, um, but Gendrasek was the worst. Uh, we're going to go to Bavaria for training, which I thought would be interesting. I wanted to try to put us against some Bundesliga clubs uh, from two Bundesliga and Bundesliga. Uh, there's also, I have another save with uh, Kaiserslautern, who in, in Bundesliga, there's a lot of Greek players. Uh, so I'd like to try to grab uh, some Greek players from the Bundesliga, bring them back home, hopefully. Uh, we had... Bastakos get the top goal scorer. Uh, Melisas, goalkeeper of the year again. Uh, Volos, we had Melisas in the team of the year. Freaking Olympiacos. Um, Plagas got player of the year. Uh, Melisas is very happy. Um, very happy to, to play for us. I wish we could sign him. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Um, Resigned a bunch of players. Uh, and then $2 million wage budget, which is an increase. It's not the best, but uh, It's not the best, but, you know, I mean, it's something, honestly. I don't know if you guys can hear that loud machine that's behind me, but sorry about that. So let's do this. We're hiding our loans. Well, I think I might keep the loans in. Get rid of this. Okay, so the situation right now, Zhao is still on the right. Mantha. Manthadis is going to be on the right as well, but also maybe a depth option on the left. We have Armanakis on the left. Um, let me just reset this entirely, actually. Um, Bastakos is going to be our guy up front. Uh, we have Arsic here, who I signed. Um, I think I signed him. Did I sign him? I don't actually remember. Let's see. Let's see who we're bringing in. Actually, let's just do this. Let's do in, well, out, first of all. So Connie's and Sheikah are leaving. That's great. Um, in, I have an offer in for a goalkeeper, Dimitris Castimoritos, because uh, I'm trying to not rely on Melisas. So hopefully he comes in. Uh, we have Nikos Gosmandis uh, coming in. He's going to be, hopefully, a long-term replacement for Oki. Um, because we just don't have depth, or depth, rather. Uh, we have Martinis, who's going to come in on the left wing, because we're not going to have any depth there. Uh, Sokani's leaving. Ferrari's still our go-to guy, but this guy hopefully is going to be a good signing for the future. Um, we have Mavrudis coming in in our midfield. Again, I had the idea to uh, for a long-term signing here. Uh, our midfield is pretty solid, but we can never have too many. We already went over Giorgio Mathadis. Um, he was previously with uh, Olympi Olympiacos. He only played the season before last, and he didn't do too great. Um, so we'll see how he does. He has some pretty good stats. Uh, he's a he's a depth option for sure, um, and then we have Arsic, who also is going to be a depth option for our attacking mid. That way, it's not just uh, uh, Juan. So he could hopefully be some growth for the future. Uh, learn the language. Oh, he was from Serbia. For some reason, I thought he was Greek. I don't know why I thought that. And then we have Giannis Pastis, who is uh, who is a young kid, um, high potential, uh, 
they don't know if he's going to succeed or not, but I figured I'd sign him, bring him in, because our youth intake has been less than ideal. Uh, so that being said, if we, uh, if we ignore our loans, do, 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 and release us. Um, we ignore our loans. I think Katamoro is, oh, I did resign him. You know what, let's just reset this, sorry. Let's do expiring contracts. So we have Bastakos and Arsic, who is going to be um, our floating relief, I guess. Uh, we have uh, pretty good depth in mid attacking mid. Our wings are still missing stars. Um, my hope is if I start Armenakis regularly, that he's going to grow. Um, he's almost hit his max ability, which is wonderful. But we have to play him on the left because we already have Zhao on the right, and Zhao is not as good on the left. Um, and then we have our depth option, Giorgio's Mantavis. Uh, so that's where those guys are. We have uh, Plagas and Maxim is probably going to start being our regular starter, um, which is problematic because Max is signed as an important player. So I have to figure that out. It, there's there's going to be some balancing that goes on there. Um, because quite honestly, you know, Max is a great defensive midfielder, but that's not the formation we're playing. We're playing a 4-2-3-1. It's been successful for us. Uh, I, I, I don't see us changing to anything that would have a DM. I don't think we're ever going to go to a 4-1-4-1. Maybe, who knows, I might throw it into the formation, uh, into the tactics. Um, and then we have Pavlos Mav Mavrudis, um, who, uh, did, did I not? Oh, he's joining, right. Uh, so he's going to come in for some depth options, and uh, that'll, that'll round out our midfield. So a lot of our midfield is going to come back. Most of our midfield is young. Um, Left wing, like you know, like we talked about, we have Martinez and Ferrari. Uh, you know, Martinez is going to be our long-term growth. So we got some young people coming in behind the older guys. Um, Brankovic, obviously, long-term growth. He's going to be an incredible defender. We're probably going to be able to sell him for some good money. Uh, Gatsmandis, um, we're going to bring him in as a. Uh, as a rotation option, unless he really does well, because quite honestly, uh, I, I re-signed Oki. I, I gave him less money. It's only for a year. He's probably going to retire next year. He's just, I mean, look at this, look at his stats. He is a depth option. Um, I think that that is even in his contract. <laughs> I mean, he even knows he's not going to play much. He has an extension after 15 games. So, you know, Oki is an important part of the team, but he's not hes not going to be playing much. Uh, and then we have Mick Glue, who is just not growing at a pace I would like him to. He has some high potential, but he's also going to be a depth option. So you're going to look at Katamuro, Brankovic, and Gotsmandis as our uh, predominant players. Um Katamura was another one. The, the transfer market in Greece is just so difficult uh, to navigate. Um, but that's that's where we're at with that. Tentakis has has capped. He is uh, he has some improvements, but I don't see him improving much more. He's getting on the the wrong end of his twenties. So we're gonna keep him as a starter, tried and true. Uh, Grigori, I really want him to come up. Uh, he has a lot of potential, so he's still going to come in as depth options. Um, and then, of course, Garavellis, who uh, who is our he's our backup. I mean, he's a solid backup. He has some good stats, uh, but that's where we're at. Um, I don't remember quite where that's going to land our finances. I know right now we're over, but we're over because we're paying a lot of money 
for low knees. Uh, so Gendrasek, that's 200 grand, that frees up. Illich, that's 200 grand, that frees up. Andrustos, again, 200 grand, that frees up. Uh, Melisas, 80 grand. He's just, he's a three-star keeper now, which is why I went out and signed another guy. Well, hopefully I signed him. And Drustos, I, I want to bring him in as a winger. But what was my, do I have a conversation history? No. What was the situation with this kid? I didn't want to bring him in as a midfielder. I want to bring him in as a winger or as an attacking mid. Um, I don't know if he re-signed with this club. He didn't re-sign with Olympiacos. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see, actually, because I wouldn't feel bad about rotating him out with, uh, with Juan at all. Um, Juan is a great player, but he is also going to start a decline. And Andrustos is 24. So he's a little bit outside of our, our, our goals here. Um, yeah, he wants to be an important player. Can I get him to be a regular starter? Oh! Okay. Um, I like this. This is this is good. He would do one hundred six to one forty six. So let's do one forty. Uh, let's bring this down a little bit, and let's see what he says to this. Because if he comes on as a regular starter, then I could sort out how to play him. Perfect. Golden. That's a good signing. That is a good signing. Okay. Perfect. Because he did, he performed well. I just wanted to play Plague Us more. Um, and he was locked in that position. So if I keep him, uh, Andrustos, he's going to prefer to play here. But he is, he is pretty versatile. So that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. Uh, yeah, so next season is going to be interesting. It's going to definitely be a building year. I'm going to be looking to develop some more of this youth. That way, you know, Plague Us, my guy, um, he can uh, he could come in and grow. If you look at his development, progress, uh, I mean, he has just skyrocketed. Look at this. Just incredible stuff. Brilliant signing. Um, so hopefully, hopefully, you know, some more of these young players can do that. Uh, and and that'll work out well. But we're 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 looking pretty okay. You know, I feel pretty good about it. Uh Plague Us is is he's worth so much money. The the other problem is honestly is that if somebody comes in and offers me money for him, major interest. I might pump this up a little bit. Um if somebody comes in and offers me money for him, I I might be struggling to take it or not take it rather. Uh you know, we're we're a high potential team, but at the end of the day, the amount of money that we need is is just is just too much. Um, it's just way too much. So, so that is the scoop. Our squad next year, right now, is looking a little bit. Um, A little bit light again, of course. Uh, our under 19 squad is still not the best. Um, I wish that it would just hide the senior squad players. Anyway, uh, our under 19s are not looking good. Uh, so. Hopefully we can fix that. I did find out that you can go up here to the globe 
uh, you can go. How did they do it? Uh, I literally just watched a video on this. Oh, you're up right here. Here we go. Transfers. Uh, youth intake. So I found out that you could do this. Um, this could be helpful uh, because I might be able to find some good players that are intakes at other clubs and try to poach them. Um, so I'm going to be paying attention to this next year uh, and we'll see how it goes. Looks like there's actually quite a bit of... Can I just do filter Greece, and then my intake should be yeah, March and April. So next year, I'm going to be looking to take advantage of this. Um, I think most of these kids probably are on contracts by now. Yeah, contract, contract, yeah. So uh, I'm going to try to take care of this stuff. Try to find some diamonds in the rough here, um, and and get some youth players in because I, I just, yeah, yeah. Um, otherwise, I mean, we're, we're probably going to end in the same, same area. Uh, I don't see us falling out. We should be doing the same things as we did this season. Uh, so I expect this to be the same. Um, our salary is going to move us up to, well, we probably won't change too much because our salary honestly is not much more than it is right now. So that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, this just isn't the best. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I keep increasing our um, our coaching, our youth development, so we're still on adequate and fairly basic, but that's going to be continuing to come up. As soon as we make a big transfer or something, we're going to improve our youth facilities um, or our training facilities. Yeah, training facilities first, I think. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, It's just going to be more of the same, man. We're going to see where we hit uh, in terms of uh, reputation, whether or not it goes up. Um, but we're only going to end up losing against the top three teams, top four teams. Um, we'll lose the average game against somebody else. Sometimes we might even tie against a top three or top four. Or even win. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll just go from there. So uh, I'm going to go through the season, and, or the off season, see if we can make any more signings. Uh, I'll probably wait until after the season turns over so I know how much money I have. But I think we're building a great team. We're building a good foundation. We're getting in the European slots. Uh, finishing fourth year over year is going to be the best for us. So tune in next time. Thanks for, uh, thanks for stopping by.